Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is simply going to be me getting ready. I am actually getting ready to go because this weekend that I'm filming this video is actually our anniversary weekend. It's our first wedding anniversary. So I'm getting ready to go. And I thought I may as well film the process of me getting ready and at the same time sort of chit chat about the products that I will be bringing with me on this weekend away. So yeah, my husband and I are going away for the weekend. I actually need to chop chop get going because goodness knows how long it takes this gal to get because <coughs> goodness knows how long it takes this gal to get ready so first of all i am going to yeah active day serum you know what first of all i'm going to get my hair on my face so the last time we actually went away was a few months ago in January was our honeymoon. We got married in October last year and we didn't get a chance to go away until January because my husband runs a dance studio and we can't just like up and leave in the middle of the year. Also, I work in hospitality and the workload during Christmas time in hospitality anywhere you are will be crazy insane. So it's not really a good time for us to get away, but we both made a point to get away in January after the Christmas rush was over and we went away to Queensland. So that's the last time we went away. It is now October and we decided it was just time to get away for our anniversary. So that's what we're doing this weekend. I'm so excited. We haven't had a chance to do this. Well, we have probably had a chance to do this, but we sort of like when we plan our times to go away, it just makes it more special, you know, because we don't do it very often because we can't afford to do it very often. So I have done my face serum that sort of smooths out the face. I am definitely going to be bringing that with me because we will be in an area that is in the middle of the country and well, we're already in the middle of the country but <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of sun so I need something to smooth and soothe my skin so I'll be bringing my serum we're really only going to be away overnight and uh, probably end up bringing like two million products with me but they are things that I use every single day um, I still have mascara in my eyebrows in my eyebrows in my eyelashes I'm gonna try and do like a really simple look today. We're not going anywhere fancy. I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit when we're there, but who knows what's gonna happen. I probably won't end up vlogging anything. So next, oh, come on, get with it. I need to get with a program. Get some makeup on your face, girl. I'm going to conceal my eyes. Everything that I am applying on my face right now is what I will be packing with me for my overnight stay. There's a few activities that we have planned. We wanna go canoeing, we wanna go canoeing, kayaking. No, not kayaking. Canoeing, yes. We want to do a bit of that. So I'm going to set down that concealer. I don't want to bring this RCMA. No color powder because who wants to be lugging around a bowl of powder? <laughs> it looks kind of sus too, doesn't it? Instead of that powder, I'm just going to be bringing... So instead of that powder, I'm just going to be bringing my BYS Contour Trio palette because it has bronzer, highlight, and contour in the same palette. And it's very small and compact, and I love it. I don't know why I'm applying that. I already set my concealer. Let's get on with the program. I'm going to go in with the Nubian Eyeshadow Palette by Juvia's Place. This one is just full of neutral colors. It's probably the only palette they have, actually, that has neutral everyday wearable shades in it. I mean, you could create an everyday wearable eye look with some of their other palettes, but... This one is probably more suitable for traveling. So because it's small, it's compact, it's full of shades that you could create any eye look with. Like you could really deepen it up, you could keep it nice and simple. This shimmery tone here is a little bit ready so you could ha almost have a pop of color as well. So this is what I'm gonna be bringing with me. I'm just going to take this brown neutral shade here and apply that all over my transition. So tomorrow, on the day I'm filming this, October 14th is our wedding anniversary. That's the day we got married. I'm going to be taking this deeper, they don't have names in this palette, and this, some of this deeper shade here and just apply that in the outer crease. I'm going to keep my look really simple today because I just need to get out the door and get on this little weekend getaway. So yeah, I'm just happy to be married to my husband for a whole year now. We have been together for five. Uh, come November, we will have been together for five years. And honestly, it's just been a real roller coaster of a ride, really, just being with this lovely man. Like, we've had our ups and downs, but what couple doesn't? Hey, how did I just drop that, honestly? This is why I don't film Chatty Get Ready With Me, is because who cares? 
just recently, well not just recently, but we have been talking about buying a house and having children, all the things that you would naturally want to talk about, well for us anyway, I don't, I'm not speaking for every couple out there, but all the things that you would naturally want to talk about once you take the next step, like you know, once you get married, people expect to have babies, not that we're doing what people expect, we're just it's just normal I guess it's just life you know <laughs> kind of pushed our timeline back if it was up to me like I would have had a house by now and had children by now but I mean logically speaking we're just not in that time of life where we're ready for that I mean I know if you wait until you're ready for that sort of thing I'm just gonna take some of this deep the darkest shadow here and just deepen out the outer crease so like I was saying if you wait till you're ready you'll never do it I want to at least have the basic things like a house and a little bit more savings before we decide to bring another human into the world and are actually responsible for another human being besides ourselves. I tell you what though man, I am so ready for kids. Like I was ready for kids a year ago, two years ago. Mm. I was ready for a kid two years ago, but it's just not the right time of life for us. I want to be able to provide and support and like have a place to put this baby because honestly where we're living right now is fine for us, but it's like no place to raise a baby. We're working towards that, hoping in the next 12 months we'll be able to buy a house and finally settle down and kind of like not start our lives because life is what it is right now. You are living your life right now. Make it good, you know. I believe life is what you make it to be. I'm making the most of it, <laughs> which is why I am filming videos right now. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Life is the most I can make it to be by filming videos. <laughs> That's it for the outer crease. I'm going to take that brush with me because I use that for the transition for the inner crease and then for the outer corner. It was all the same brush. So I'm going to take that one with me. I'm not going to go in with concealer over my eyelid because that's just too time consuming but I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. I'm just going to spray that one with a bit of that and then go in with this shimmery shade and just go in the inner corners of my eyes with that just you know keep the look real easy and simple i kind of feel like tati but where she does a lot of simple neutral looks like this like shadow on the outside and then shimmer on the inside i think it works not everyone wants to be wearing bright colorful looks every single day. I used to actually do that. When I first started out in makeup, I was wearing bright, colorful blue. Like if you scroll way back on my Instagram, I was huge on those sort of eye looks. It kind of suited me at the time because that was when I was ballroom dance training. So I mean, crazy, colorful, bright, out there sort of makeup didn't go amiss in a dance studio you know like i would get home from work and then i would do all these bright colorful makeup looks and then i would head off to the studio and it was almost like when i got to the studio it was almost like oh what makeup look have you got on today and you know those were the days when i would wear bright colorful makeup but since not professionally training anymore for dance competitions i've sort of since stopped wearing bright colorful makeup and also i've gotten older <laughs> Anyone can wear the colors of makeup that they want anytime, any day of the year. But for me, I don't feel comfortable. And for some reason, I don't feel comfortable anymore just going out on my everyday with like bright purple or pink eyeshadow. Like I know I was wearing that look on my channel in one of my videos the other day and I actually really enjoyed that. But I was really only just experimenting for the day. And that evening I had um, Latin Fitness and I just wore it out. Like, it was like, mm. So I'm going to be bringing those brushes with me. I can do this entire eye look with four brushes. Well, three brushes really. That was just my concealer setting brush. All right, easy. I'm not as high maintenance as I thought I was. <laughs> well, when it comes to skincare, I probably will be. Before I apply foundation, I need some skincare in my life and I need some under eye gel and I have been using the Jericho Cosmetics under eye and neck gel, but for traveling, I think it'll be easier to take this one. It's the exact same thing. It's just in different packaging. I think they just provided something that would be easy to travel with. The applicator is kind of funny, actually. See, for me, that's just awkward. I would rather just take it off with my finger and then just apply like that. It's not even a metal tip, like anything special. It's just plastic. I got this in my August Bella box and it's a L'Occitane Immortal Reset Night Serum and I'm actually really really enjoying this. So I'm gonna take this with me. It's just obviously like a little sample size but once I'm done with that I think I'm gonna buy another one because that thing worked miracles on my skin. Like that's all I put on last night and this morning it is so 
brightened and it looks awake like there's still little dry patches but you know I can't have everything <laughs> for moisturizer I've gotten a little bit lazy in my skincare recently so for moisturizer I'm just gonna take moist booster body butter obviously this one's just meant for the body but I had actually started using it on my face as moisturizer because I've run out of my restoring day cream and I used that on my face and it was fine like a lot of thicker lotions like this probably would break me out but this one doesn't I've been doing that for a whole week now because I've been too broke <laughs> to buy a new restoring day cream so I've just been using that and it's actually quite effective in moisturizing and smoothing out the dry patches on my face as you can see my lips are dry AF you know, I've actually taken to just applying coconut oil all over my body. When I remove my makeup at the end of the day, I use coconut oil to remove my makeup and just like get into all the nooks and crannies and remove every single bit of makeup, except obviously for that mascara that was on my eyelashes before. It's quite effective. And then since I ran out and, and I am running out of that body butter as well, I get my shit together and buy some more. I've just been applying coconut oil everywhere and it's just been so beautiful and Applying it on my legs. Coconut oil, it just, it's amazing. It just sinks into the skin. It's quite incredible. Okay, getting on with some foundation. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, foundation, and this one's a tiny little bit too dark for me. Whoop! I've just dripped foundation on one of my, this is like my favorite casual dress. Shit. This is like the second dress I've done this to. If that ever happens to you, just spray it with some rubbing alcohol and try and get it out as best you can. And it's not working. It looks like a shit stain. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wash this out before it stains. Okay, I'm back. I have a huge wet spot on my dress and uh, at least I got to get most of the foundation out. It's still there a little bit, but soap and water does the trick, mostly. This is why I shouldn't rush things. I stub my toe coming back into the room. I need to calm the F down. So I have a smudge of foundation there. That's as far as I got. And I need to stop talking because I need to go. That's the foundation I'm going to be taking with me. It smells horrible, but it applies beautifully. Go in with a little bit of concealer. Actually, maybe not a little bit. Kind of need it today. This is like an accurate representation of my life me always rushing to get out the door like I had literally haven't packed I hadn't packed anything for our weekend away until just before I sat down to start filming this to get ready to go so yeah that concealer is great like it just hides most of my dark circles it blends out so nicely so I'm going to set all of that in again with some of my powder I need to take control of my face and put some shape into it so I'm going to take some contour and bronze just gonna mix that shit together because I gotta go all right so you guys I'm putting this question out there for you if you're still watching up to now thank you so much I hope you subscribe like I mean you're here you already may as, like you're already here you may as well subscribe all right so tell me are you guys excited for Christmas because I'm not it's a lot of hassle <laughs> You're gonna come for me now. Like, I, I, I like Christmas, like when I actually get to it. I like the food. I like the fact that you get the day off work. Like, uh, I like to see my family too, that's a plus. <laughs> like, I don't know, just leading up to Christmas, it's so much hassle. It's like, why all of this preparation for one day? One day. Like everyone already knows, they ain't getting any presents from me this year. I'm like a Grinch. I'm a Christmas Grinch. I sort of enjoy this season. Like I enjoy being busy at work and I enjoy seeing all the new products that we get, you know, for Christmas. Like I've always been lucky to work in places where we get some really interesting things for Christmas. That's kind of like my Christmas. I open up the box and I'm like, ooh, what do we get this time? And it's like, I don't have to pay for it. It's there and I probably won't end up using it. So I just, I get to open up the box and say, ooh, what have we got? And then I get to sell the shit and make some money. Um, well, I don't make money, I get paid. Mm. What's next? All right, bronzer is done. I'm gonna be taking that brush with me. It is actually broken. I've gotten, I don't know what, I have 10 million brushes and I stick to this one because it just works really well. But so stick that back on there. I'm gonna be taking that brush with me. Next, a bit of blush because I need some color in my cheeks. So I'm gonna go into the Juvia's Place Saharan blush to blush. The Saharan Blush Volume 2, taking some of that shade Lena and a little bit of towel and just 
sufficiently warming up my cheeks. Let's finish off the eyes, shall we? So I'm gonna take that blush palette and that little eyeshadow palette as well. I'm not gonna go in with anything in my waterline because that's just too hard. <laughs> so I'm going to go and take this big fluffy blending brush and go under the eyes with that because I want it to sort of like smoke out without too much effort. So I'm gonna go into that one and a bit of that one and smoke that out under the lower lash line. I hope this place that we're going to has a mirror because I'm not bringing my mirror. The only mirror they probably have will be in the bathroom. So the bathroom's like disjointed from the room. I know, it's a yurt. We're staying in a yurt for our first wedding anniversary. It's a fancy yurt though, it's called glamping. I'm called glamping. Done with those palettes, gonna pack them now. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner because Goodness knows, my look is never complete without eyeliner. I think it's just because of the shape of my eyes, you know? Um, but before we do that, I'm going to set my face in with some setting spray. <sighs> Nearly to the end of that one. Lucky I've already bought another one. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a Morphe haul soon on my channel. It's not really a haul. I think I got like two products, but I'm going to share them with you anyways. What was I talking about? Okay, I'm going to go in with some highlight. Same old, same old, Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. As you can see, it is very much well loved and I'm nearly towards the end of that, so I'm just working towards finishing it so I can just like get on with my life. I'm not gonna do anything for brows because I have brows. Eyeliner, usual, usual, Maybelline Master Graphic. I hope they bring this eyeliner back, please. I can find it on Amazon. I can find some listings on Amazon where they're just like, you know, probably old stock, and I bought five. I, I'm actually down to two. Why didn't you tell me I had foundation in my hairline, guys? That's not helpful. <laughs> this is progressively getting worse. Mm -hmm. This is probably the worst makeup look I have done ever. Actually, no, that's not true. <laughs> I have done worse. Okay, that's an even as. <coughs> <clears throat> Now, I'm going to go in with some mascara because my eyelashes, my eyelashes go like this. They never, even if I try curling them, I curl them and then they go like this again. So, I just won't curl them. Note to self, don't film a video next time when you're in a rush because this is turning out not what I would like. Well, I've got you here. If I've still got you here, thank you. Thanks for sticking around. Um, I want to film a Q&A a little bit later on in my channel or like soon but I don't know if there's anyone quite invested enough with interest in my life to actually warrant a Q&A so if you do want to know anything about my life or about me then just leave those comments down below and I will answer them um, but if I don't get enough questions then I just you know won't bother and I'll just wait until I actually have enough people interested in me to do a QA. and a yeah okay I have like 12 eyeshadow palettes from Juvia's Place and so I want to do a video very soon, a swatch fest video, <laughs> swatching all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have from Juvia's Place. So, I mean, definitely let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that because I have a few and I probably have more than any normal person should. But since I do have them, I thought it'd be great if I could share them with you guys like, and help you decide on which palettes that you want to buy. I like this lip gloss. This one is the ColourPop Lip Gloss in the shade Aquarius. I'm actually really loving that. It's just, just a nice, not quite nude, but just enough color to give me some color in my lips. I lost my train of thought. Uh, I don't know when that stopped recording. Uh, yeah, I don't know when that stopped recording. But that's it for this video anyway. There's nothing else to see here, guys. If you're still watching, thank you. Thanks for being here. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my ramblings. I guess, you know, just sharing a little bit about my life. It's not really that much of an interesting life, but this is me. This is who I am, how I am. I don't know where it stopped recording, I'm sorry. But the last thing I was talking about was I, I'm bringing my Halo Beauty uh, Hair, Skin and Nails Booster pills as well because goodness knows mama needs help in that department. Water, 
Um, I actually don't have a whole lot of stuff. Like, I'm not, I don't have as much stuff that as I thought I would. But besides these things here, I'm going to be bringing some virgin marula oil just for a little bit of nourishment for the skin. I've got that L'Occitane little sample thing. I think I will be repurchasing this as a full size. Um, that's why I like Bella Bucks. Like, you get those little tiny samples and you get to try things out without having to spend a whole lot of money on the full size product. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please Please give the video a thumbs up before you go and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And Christmas drink and the Christmas time and the Christmas.